Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. There is a new Targaryen on the throne. And we are at the head of Castle Rock, the seat of Castle Rock. Uh, in this episode, we're going to try and take the remaining Lannister land. So let's um, pause. <laughs> I'm kind of intrigued what happens. Oh, we got the just faction already. Uh, you want the golden tooth. Okay, you can send an ultimatum in 10 months. You're quite strong. 3,000 soldiers. Oh, you have allies as well. Lord Mark? My nephew? Surely he will not betray me. And there is a Liberty faction as well. Hopefully these guys uh, don't fire off. And, and they're both due in 10 months as well, which is a little bit of a, a worry. <laughs> oh dear, we're increasing the control and Casterly Rock as well. So let's let uh, that go down. Uh, I'm wondering if we take the last holding of the Lannisters over here. Excuse the, the choppiness. That happens with a Game of Thrones uh, when you play for so many years. Uh, I wonder... One, if we could do an independence war. And two, uh, let's not build in Boroning because we might end up giving this away. Two, can we, if we take their last land, who becomes Lord Paramount if they're unlanded? It's interesting. Your friend Gilbert has died. Oh, no. And there have been more excommunications as well. Let's unpause. We've only got seven income. I think it's because I upgraded the army a little bit. Or we're just earning like nothing. A grand wedding, Lord Ufa. I must decline, my friend. I am preparing for war. Sister has been taken prisoner. Oh, dear. Uh, it's all happening. Petition Leech. Petition Leech. Get out of here. Wait, so he no longer has the throne room. I don't have it either, though, because I'm not a, a Lord Paramount. But if we were to become a Lord Paramount, then we would get the special throne room as well. Uh, let's see. Lord Creston has written me a poem. <laughs> Despite everything. My intimate passion. Oh, how such a beautiful countenance gleams. Shimmering, sparkling, haunting my dreams. For his life is my life and our life to be. The beautiful start to a family tree. Um, What drivel. Get out of here, Creston. We mock your, your poem. It's not even funny. My nephew has been released from uh, prison. Very nice. Faction has disbanded. That's also very nice. But we still have the Liberty Faction, right? Uh, Yeah, we still have the Liberty Faction, but it's much less powerful. Uh, there's a liberty faction here i can't join it because i have a truce ah yes that's true uh let's speed things up i really want this personal champion position vacated oh, i died of old age molos one of the greatest knights we have ever had has now passed the crimson cloaks must have a successor let's see uh matter is here he has 21 price you're due my lad uh, i need to force you to to be a knight though I have to force you. We have really good knights suddenly, which is very nice. I think it's because we have so much land and our court is huge. Uh, this is all fine as well. I let some pause. I, I pause a lot because I don't want to miss stuff. Plus, we're playing on high speed. Um, plus, things, if you don't pause, things get a bit laggy. It's just Game of Thrones things. My son and heir, Rendell, is an unusually calm child. When the others play their wild games, Rendell often withdraws to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot. But I can tell he is always thinking about something. Oh, no. Rendor is already gout ridden. The lad is only three years of age. Stewardship and learning. You guys chose Marshallville. Hopefully he still turns into a good character. Hopefully he will not be the fool of House Rain. Imagine that. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a mare kept away from all others. She throws her head and stomps her hooves, displaying her powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I have never seen such a warhorse before. But the stable master insists that she is impossible to train. I am not one to back away from a challenge. I will tame this great steed. The horse pins her ears back as I approach. Her disregard for me crystal clear. This first meeting is important to earn her trust and respect. And I need to decide how to go about it. I think a steady hand is required to tame the beast. It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I have earned her trust, she seems almost fond of me. I will keep her as a personal war horse. We gain even more prowess. And we gain a martial perk. Let's get uh, soldiers of lesser fortune. Mercenaries are cheaper. Uh, but the big one out of one is absolute control. Because then we get even more taxes, which is huge. There was something odd about my friend Lady Giona. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it is just my imagination running amok. Nevertheless, that ominous feeling is keeping me up at night. Ooh. Spymaster, David. You must see what my friend is hiding. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. Ooh, and a name inspired by history. Let's see. Let's call her... Ooh. 
Ooh. I don't know. Can I use a custom name? Uh, can I use a custom name? I can't use a custom name. Ah, oh, I was going to call it Tywin. <laughs> Let's call it Balerion for the great dragon of Egon the Conqueror. We will conquer the Westerlands as he conquered the Seven Kingdoms. David has uncovered irrefutable proof of Lady Joanna's guilt. She has a terrible secret. Ooh. She is a bastard. It's fine. It's fine. I have a soft heart in my, uh, soft place in my heart for bastards. My agents are prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired. And the duck was gis gifted to Josmin alone. It would be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing where target ever tastes. We will kill our hostage. Sir Josmin Lannister. Bon appetit, Josmin. Oh, he survived. Ah. Oh. Oh, damn it. Wait, what? The poison did not have its intended effect, but merely left the, the, the nun bedridden for a week. To make matters worse, the herbalist supplying the poison was tracked down, and Josmin now knows I was behind the plot. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The Lannisters can imprison me. Okay. Uh, my courtiers. Where's Josmin? Oh, bloody hell. We have a lot of courtiers. Um... Josmin, Josmin, relationship. The hostages show up here? No, hostages don't show up here. Uh, I should be able to search, right? Courtiers, search, yes. Let's find Josmin before something bad happens here. Yeah, my hostage, there we go. I might have to imprison him. It is an act of tyranny. Everyone loses 25 opinion of me. Oh dear. Oh dear. What can I do? Maybe I recruit him as a spy. Oh, I, I don't think it's going to work. He's going to expose us. We're going to have to face the consequences and fight the Lannisters. I will not back down. I will not be threatened. Alliance has expired. Desmond the White Rose has died. We no longer have an alliance with the Tyrells, like, at all. Oh, that kind of sucks. That was an important one. Rendell, I need you to get me a good alliance. There are no good alliances. What about Cecilia? Son, oh, we no longer have alliances with the Tyrells. What they do, they not control the reach anymore? They do. Oh, but no children are here. We have the we have you. Can I not arrange uh, a marriage here? Minus 47. Oh, they're related as well. You might be in a little bit of trouble. No alliances. All right, another Marshall pack. Let's get absolute control. That's going to raise the taxes in places where we have good control. It's only going up to 8.2. Um, oh, we are increasing, increasing control as well. Right, let's zoom back in. Uh, once we get this claim, I will lower the speed. I just want to stay up five times speed so we could get the claim. <laughs> Otherwise, we're kind of sat here not doing too much. Um, what was that notification up here? Imprisoned criminals, but they're not important to me. So let's not waste our effort on these guys. We must save our strength. But when we fight for Lannisters, I have become ill. Oh dear. Lord or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding from my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Maester Con, do no more than what is necessary. Con presented me with a card carcass of a cat and prompted me to dig in. As I ate, he told me how he had chased a plump feline around my holding for hours. I think he wanted praise for his hard work, but the vile taste of the meal kept me silent. In the end, the fatty food turned out to be just what I needed. But now the worst of my symptoms are alleviated. And the world seems a little bit brighter. Excellent work, Con. I guess a uh, cat is not a normal food here. Uh, in my court, but... I guess we will... It has worked this time. Faction to install Lord Martin. On Fair Isle. Oh, dear. Oh, Caravan Master has died of old age as well. Everyone's dying. Everyone's getting so old. Uh, my friend just died as well. Uh, a grand tournament. No, we must prepare for this. We must prepare for the Grand War. I guess the land is... Oh, we have a truce though, don't we? Hopefully it expires soon. It has been a good while since I saw my old heartthrob Hector. Even after all these years, the thought of him as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind in the midnight hours. He is a man now, and I cannot help but feel myself reaching for my quill. No. My wife has forgiven me. And so, I will sit beside these childish thoughts. My love. Is there no way we can organize an alliance with your family? 
Is there no way they would accept an alliance? We can't even negotiate an alliance with them. Oh dear. Um, this is troubling. This is troubling. What if I was to do... Let's see. Arrange marriage. My player Aaron's son. She's a bit older though. There's an, uh, a nine year age gap. If I did a grand wedding, they wouldn't even accept for a grand wedding. Not even matrilineal. Chance of being inbred as well. Well, I mean, we need an alliance. What about Dawn? Oh, there's no one to marry in Dawn. The Stormlands, maybe? <gasps> they have many children. Let's see. Uh, your this daughter here. She is a twin. What if I offered my, my son here? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, let's go Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rain, there we go. My player, Aaron's son, would not accept. Buy this one thousand. Because it's a patrilineal marriage, really? Or I could just... Do you know a better way to do this? Uh, I realize if I arrange a marriage, I can do... I can do grand wedding here, can't I? And then sort by alliance power. What's these guys? Oh, we can get an alliance with the Stormlands. I think this might be good. House Steadman, 16,000 strong. This might be good. Uh, let's pick the second daughter because they're more similar closely in age. Lady Lanella. If it's not a grand wedding, they wouldn't accept. But this they would accept. Let's see. Opinion of me. Mm, is Marion down? Yeah, true. Um, opinion of me plus 33. Yeah, I mean, I could give a gift, I guess. Like send a gift of 161 gold. It's only 19 opinion. Uh, in that case, I think we will organize a grand wedding. We haven't hosted one yet. He does have gout as well. That might be factoring into it. We will marry into. Oh. What about House Redwine? Oh, but they're, they're too old for my sons. That would be good to get the revive the ancient alliance. I will send the proposal. It is only a betrothal right now. So I don't think we get the alliance yet, right? No, we do get the alliance. Nice. To have a charming Lyman. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your son and heir Rendell. We were betrothed to my daughter Lenella. I also look forward to the promised grand wedding. Try not to disappoint me. Lord Paramount, Tiana the Gurfi. This is excellent news. I will host the grandest wedding you have ever seen. How's Castle Rock doing? We're up to 23 control now. Uh, how is the, the fabrication going? We're almost done. We're almost done. And look at this. As I woke this morning and observed the first rays of sunshine. It took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. I am glad to be well again. No more are we ill. The seven favor me very clearly. The very historical Lyman that I proudly documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case with you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Star's Band. See it done, my friend. 75 gold. Right, task finished. And that was fabricate claim. Education complete. Okay. Uh, oh. <gasps> My friend, the best friend of my father, the legend himself. He started as a lowborn and he founded his own house, Tarbeck Hall. His son, Lord Humphrey, has taken over. He is married to an Aaron as well. Well, they're doing well for themselves. Rolf, your d dynasty should live on for, for many generations, let us hope. But a legend has died. And thus, I need a new Castellan. Right, let's see. Uh, powerful vassal. Let, it, would, it would say up here, right? Powerful vassals. One council of position. You only have eight stewardship. You have nine. You have eight. Okay, guys. Um, I can't pick any of you then. What I'm going to pick is uh, Lord Hafis. He bloody hates me. In fact, no. Lady Relena of Pride's Keep. You will become my new castellan. Do your job well. Hopefully, we will have a, a long and prosperous relationship. Right. Uh, let's see. Against my liege, I still can't do this, but that's because I have a truce. How long is left on the truce? Mm, three years. Right. In that case, we don't have any more truces. I guess we could go back to taking the rest of Withermore. Yes. Ah, oh, look. We lost uh, Krakul down here as well. That was a lot of our gold. Do we still have most? Of yeah, we still have all of our stuff down here. Uh, in that case, let's t work on taking this. Um, let's see. Fabricate claim. Um, we'll just start taking all of this. Hopefully we get a duchy claim at some point and that should help a lot. I wonder if we go... That's Tarish, Torrentine, Fair Isle. Um, High Lordship of Castamere. Make this my primary title for sure. <clears throat> but that's not the one. Yeah, look at this. Much better. Castamere is strong. Uh, I need... 
Where is it? Where is it? Casterly Rock. Okay. Um, oh, I could have done this for any, can't I? I can't usurp it because... Oh, I need 40 counties. Bloody hell. We only have 28. We will need another 12. But we might be able to do it. We'll see. Uh, my niece has been taken prisoner. By Lord John of Donners Down. I'm not quite sure what's happening with the family, but uh, a lot of them are getting in prison. I guess because they're all landed out, they're all having their own storylines and whatnot. As I make my way to the stable, I'm greeted by the happy nays of Balerion. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather, and I can do nothing but agree. Ah. The day is too fine to not be appreciated properly. Let's lose some stress. We are actually very stressed at the moment. Incredibly stressed. Castle Rock is improving nicely. 28 uh, control still. It's going to take many years to do this. I found only three years. Okay, things are looking better already. Yeah, and I think this is fine. You're on domestic affairs, increase in opinion. You're on protecting trade. Very nice. Uh, increase control. Look at that. We're even removing negatives now. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my knights practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It is time to bring out the mounts. Lads, today we are going field riding. Lord Ermond glances at the medfields at the bottom of the hill. Those could serve as the outline of an enemy army, he says. I inform my knights as I inspect the battle line, preparing for the strategy at hand. <gasps> we can become an aggressive attacker. Let us charge! We have become an aggressive attacker. I believe my father was an aggressive attacker as well, right? Let us see. Oh, he was not. I am more aggressive than him. I, I want to prove myself. I don't want to live under his shadow. I have my sword and lead the riders in a mad dash down the hill. However, among all the seeming chaos of shifting armor, raised weapons and battle cries, there is a plan. As we smash into the imaginary army on the field below, every soldier finds their place in our line. Ready in strikes, falling back, twisting reins, and leaping back into the fray. We will rush over our enemies like a force of nature. And they will break like a tree before the tempest. We will cut down every last man in our path. And we have become an aggressive attacker. Well, let's get rid of this. We don't need this. Uh, we're fabricating claims. We're restoring control here. Um, so when does this truce run out exactly? The first of the eighth moon, 359. Bloody hell. We need to deal with this. Minus 100 opinion. What did I do? Ah, okay, I attempted a family murder. Fair enough, fair enough. I do remember that. Lord Tywin is hosting a feast. Not Tywin Lannister. We got rid of him many years ago. Surely, someone has to start a faction against the Lannisters. How is it that they have this one tiny county and they're still holding on to things? It's absolutely crazy. I can't declare walls full. Let's see, we got the field lands. None of my claims... With a more... Oh, I can seize the Jour territory even. Uh, and we got this. So what's the De Jour territory? Castamere. Oh, that's the one I'm fabricating on as well. Okay. In that case, we should stop fabricating here because we're going to have a truce after. Um, why don't we... We cancel this. And we go down here. Back into Krakow maybe. We could do that. Yes. Or we could go into Ashmark as well. Let's try and get up to the Lannisters. Have a have a border and yeah i think we should take all of the norths first right let's fabricate this we're gonna take ash mark that's only going it's gonna take 22 months why so long suddenly i thought we had bonuses did i ever change my i never changed culture let us convert to the local culture truth be told there is little separating my traditions from those of the people in my capital we observe the same holy days, the same public feasts, and our language has become almost the same. My father formed a new culture, and I will follow in his steps. And now, the fabrication should be much faster. 22 months, but if I restart it, um, I think it takes a bit, right? You have to restart it for it to actually apply, or what? Uh, maybe I'm pause, I'm pause, I'm not sure. Did I convert? I have converted, okay. Everyone else is converting with me as well. Because <laughs> we had a few Westermen, right. That should be fine. Yeah, I'm the new culture head as well. Uh, let's see, what are we searching right now? We're searching ancestral claims, okay. Uh, I think we were done with this one, weren't we? Yeah, we were done with this. Uh, ancestral claims. 
can use Dejour Cass's belly, can press multiple claims for another character in a single war. Yes, that's the one I want. That's going to take 11 years. Right here, that sounds good. Uh, arrange a betrothal. To the impressive Lyman, I propose a betrothal between my brother Lester Morrigan and your half sister Elaine Ellen Rain. I will accept this mighty marriage. Very well. We have another alliance. Very nice. Um, how long? It's only taken 21 months. I wonder why. 21 months. 21 months. This is going to take 21 months as well. Is it just because he's so bad? Like, because his learning is so low, maybe, compared to our last... Our last septum? Maybe. Maybe. But it's not the quick 11 months that we had before, is it? Certainly not. Too many counties. That is unfortunate. Cecilia Rain is now three years of age. He is bossy. He's going to be good at uh, martial and stewardship. But you guys pick diplomacy. That's fine. Uh, negotiation. We don't need this. I could petition the leech. Let's see what options are there. Uh, send bailers. Help raise county control. I mean, we could ask. Although I think he's going to say no. Let's not ask. I don't want to go there. Yeah, because I have a feeling he might murder me or something. Uh, let's turn this off even so I can get there. He has minus 100 opinion on me. I'm not liking that a lot at all. Uh, another hunt. We don't need hunt. Like, we got so much prestige. My sister died of old age. We have lost yet another alliance. Oh, dear. I can negotiate an alliance with my nephew, though. Let's do this. I can't get one with you, though. It's rather unfortunate. I wonder if we can keep spreading our claims. Our, like, vassals' claims. Let's see. Uh, where is the field lands? So that's this. Hector's claims, green field. Yeah, let's not do this because it's not connected. Uh, we could go into Withermore. Yeah, because that's what I wanted to do anyway, wasn't it? Right, this one costs 20. This one costs nothing. So let's declare this one. Uh, and we have many, many more numbers than them. I don't even think we're going to need to use our allies. So let's raise everyone. I will lead the armies, of course. And I imagine this war will be over very quick indeed. Uh, 30 days, we don't need to raise everyone else. That's fine. Let us get this over and done with nice and quick. 30 days to siege. It's so fast. <laughs> we take the war objective and everything else should come naturally. We're losing a little bit of gold, but that's fine. I want to keep us building control. Right, let's try and intercept them. We took some prisoners as well. Very nice. Look at this. We're going to destroy them. 20 advantage. Wow. Uh, that was not even close. 280 and we killed 4,000. I think we wiped out their entire army in just one battle right there. Uh, bloody insane. How things have changed from just 10 episodes ago. It blows my mind. We are becoming very powerful. All that's really left is to rebuild Castamere and take over the Westerlands. We can become an overseer. More martial and stewardship is always going to be useful. I wonder if that gives us enough to give us a third domain. It does. So that's going to increase our income even more now. Very nice. Very nice. I do like the martial tree. Martial and stewardship are probably my favorite trees. Uh, what's going on here? I can ransom you for 10 gold. Let's do that. We don't need allies. That's fine. They got another 500 men risen in the west. I guess we could go and fight them. Or we could end the war. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> Greetings, Lord Lyman of Castamy. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. We shall disband everyone. Do I still have a prisoner? I do. Let's get rid of you. Um, I have more men at arms. Ah, yeah, I can station these now. Um, oh, it's a bit annoying how we have multiple stacks, but we'll keep them because they're still useful. They are still useful. Wait. Uh, no, I don't want this full. <clears throat> okay, you have too many titles. Um, let's see. I probably need to give this to someone new then. Let's go Dynasty Reign. And we'll sort by age. My nephew, Vorian Rain. You're going to gain some responsibility, lad. Let us modify your contract. More taxes. More taxes. Always need more taxes. Uh, and then I will negotiate an alliance. To keep you safe and hopefully stop you rebelling against me. What I might do in the next coming episodes is go through everyone's contracts again as well. Just to make sure we're making the absolute most money we can. Because we don't really need levies. In fact, we could do that now. 
Yeah, we do this now. Let's see. I could do this. I've already modified contracts for. Yeah, I've already modified contracts. I don't think we need any of this. Uh, I think it's fine. Let's leave that. We're earning 12 income anyway. That's fairly decent. We got 3,000 gold. This has expired since no longer married or betrothed. Okay. Interesting stuff. We do have more wars we can declare if we want to. What about Wayfarer's Rest? You have a claim on this. Very well. We shall fight the five-year-old. <laughs> and improve our reach ever more. What's the supply here? 28,000. Okay. Let's go ahead and put another banner over here. I like this little mountain path here. Like, it's really cool. It's a really cool choke point. Let's raise the men. We won't need the whole army, probably. Yeah, that's enough, right? Stop raising them. Uh, let's go after it. In fact, we could, that's not even the war objective. Let's go straight here. We'll wipe out that army. Take the war objective. This war's going to be a super fast one, even faster than the last one. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. It's almost bullion. Wait, do I not have... Oh, I can only have eight knights. Okay, I thought I could have more. Yeah, I'm still only a duke. I forget that I'm still so small, even though we have so much land. We're not as uh we're not a lord paramount. I remember the day when my son Cecilia was born to Duchess Desmurua, my implacable son. Memories like these bring me comfort no matter what happens. I know that my family is there for me. That house rain stands strong. Long and sharp, I whisper under my breath. I will treasure the fort. I am very blessed to have a very loving wife, a forgiving wife, and also very good sons. My half-sister can now marry into House Morgan. Let us do that. We gain an alliance as well. Excellent stuff. Very nice. And my half-sister Rilo can marry as well. Let's see. We can get a strong alliance. We could double up with our alliance in the Stormlands. Let us do this. It's not even a grand wedding either. Just to make sure we have the Stormlands on our side. The Baratheons. What happened to the Baratheons then? Because the Baratheons are no longer in control so uh do they control anything raffian maybe they all got killed ah oh, that's not how you spell it um it would pop up here right raffian raffian that's how you spell it isn't it or is it like an o no, are they gone i think they're gone interesting if i go back far enough let's see um let's go title history uh king ego and king eris yes 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 uh let's see if i go relationship no if i go to his kill list we got the baratheons here oh they were executed by king eris house baratheon has been fully wiped out oh <gasps> they are no more i didn't notice Oh, wow. So what about everyone else? Of course, uh, I think the Tyrells are still alive, even though they don't control things anymore. Um, yes, the Tyrells are still alive. We're married to a Tyrell, of course. Uh, the Tullys of Seven Trout. Okay, so they've branched off. But the main house, Tully, still has 11 living members. Okay. What about the Vale? Yeah, the Arryns are still going strong. Oh, I love the clothes. What about the Starks? The Starks are still in control. They are fighting and losing the Liberty War. But they are still in control. And then the Greyjoys here. So the Baratheons are the, the main house to get wiped out here. Interesting stuff. Let's go back to the army though. I'm so easily distracted, but it's cool. I like to learn these little... What's happening in our lore and our timeline. Okay, we stole a goose feather. <laughs> uh, let's not... We probably don't need that, yeah. Let's just go ahead and destroy this. We'll get rid of you. And uh, we've also got prisoners as well, so let's ransom them. The Baratheons are gone. So early as well, and I didn't notice. Let's see. We now have a claim on the Lordship of Ashmark. Let's accept this one. We can always declare that one after. But there we go. We finished this war. Let's enforce the demands. It is all done. We have some prisoners as well. Let's do this. I can also change your contract. Because we have a hook. So let's do this. You had lower taxes for some reason. Um, what, what What's happening here? There we go. I changed map modes by accident. Right, uh, we can fabricate more claims. So we got a claim on Ashmark. We could go into the Densdane as well. Let's go ahead and do this. 
It's going to take, yeah, 22 months. Okay, things are much longer to fabricate now that we have these guys. Uh, we can declare war against Ashmok. So let us do this. We have fought many wars against them. And now we will fight another one. Raise the men in Castamere, lads. We're going straight for Ashmok. Uh, I think, yeah, that's enough. We don't need the whole levy. That's absolutely fine. We might only need the men at arms. I'm a little bit worried because of numbers, though. My nephew, Lord Sanford, approaches me with a humble smile. I would appreciate it if we could renegotiate my contract, my lord. Any improvement would, of course, be met with enthusiasm from my treasury and my lands. Ooh. His feudal taxes are decreased. Will I get the lordship of the crag? Do you have the lordship of the crag? Um, oh, no, here. You don't have? Oh, you do? Oh, the crag is here. I was thinking of Craig Hall. Hmm. You'll find no deal here, Samford. In fact, you may find your taxes increase. Now I've already changed your contract. You're lucky. <laughs> you must pay your taxes. We need it to rebuild Castamere. You're doing the whole realm a big, big favor. Everyone must contribute and pay their part. Task finished. We have finished increasing control of Casterly Rock. Very well. Let's see. Uh, we got a lot more places to increase control. Let's keep doing that. We could also train commanders. Uh, Rendor needs a new guardian. Let's see. You guys picked Marshall, so let's train him. Uh, my master at arms, Leighton. We'll educate him. Hopefully, he gives him a very good education. 20 days left on the siege. We're slowly gaining territory. Oh, we have already won the war. Look at this. <laughs> it is already over. Wow, insane. I need to give this away to someone as well. Um, Let's see. How many titles? You've already maxed out. Okay, you lad. You can have Ashma. Yes, I will give you Ashma. And now you are maxed out as well. I'm making very strong family members, but it's okay. We will deal with that with the time comes. Sadly, guys, that is all we have time for today. I think we're nearing close to the end of the truce. Um, oh, no. I think it's hidden, right? Yeah, we have 12 months of the truce left. And then we might be able to start an independence faction. No, because he's not an independent. But we might be able to do a, a claimant faction. And push myself to claim... Oh, I don't have a claim on the Lord Paramount C. We might just take this and then see what happens then. We'll see what happens. Because if he has no land, how can he be Lord Paramount? Surely it's uh, it's an interesting situation. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you next time.